welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to localize our app using swift 4 with app localization what we mean that how to make our app supports multiple languages since in this world there are a lot of countries where most of the people use their mother tongue as their primary language and not english so in order to reach more audience we need to convert or we need to we need our app to support multiple languages so here in this video we will learn how to localize our app for arabic language and how to change the layout of our app from right to left in case of arabic language and from left to right in case of the english language the app language will not interfere with the device language the device language is for example set to english and if we change our app language to arabic then our app will only work in arabic language and it will not change the device language so we will learn these two concepts in this today's video so let's start in your export create a single view application template project i already created one for myself so let's start select localization tutorial this is the project name i given and here you can select your project and here in project select your project name and here you can see the localization part here the language and under under language it's written english development language so by default english is the development language and in order to add more languages you can tap on plus now you can click on plus icon and here you can see list of different languages so in our case we are interested in arabic so we choose arabic and here it shows a pop-up choose files and reference language to create arabic localization we finish and here you can see now in your project the main storyboard contains two files which is the base and arabic so base is the english language and arabic is the other localization language that are at source now the main question arises that how we can handle the different texts so for that we have a string files that can be localized and here for that what we do we will go here and double click here new file and here we go bottom and here we have strings file so we click here press next and we will give it a name okay okay like disable so this is the name which should be given now the name required let's create and here you can see we have a localizable dot strings file select this file and here on the right hand side of your screen you have a localization section and in localized section we have a localized button so click on this button select arabic language we want to localize this file to arabic and press next and here we select english because we need english too and here you can see we have two files one is for english and one for arabic so if our app language is set to arabic then all the text will come from this file and if the language is english then all the text come from this file so this file requires you to enter the text in a key value here for example suppose in our UI we have a header header for our screen and a button to change language for that we will create a key header text so we name it current language and it should be terminated with semicolon and for button we would say change language and we give it name change language and terminate it with semicolon so this is the english strings and for arabic we will keep the same keys but the text will be arabic so we need to add the text so let me get the text so here we have uh, the arabic text for 
add text values and change language values so in english the header text key has value current language and arabic it is current language but it's written in arabic so i just use the google translator for these values so they might be wrong i'm not very sure about it so now let's create the ui part of our app and open main door storyboard here we will drag a ui label and here we will give it constants 20 pixel 20 from the top and 20 trailing okay also we will change the background color to a little yellow so that it is colorful and we will give the font the bold font and the font size will be 22 okay and secondly we will display here the language selected and also we will give it a constraint of 20 from the leading 20 from the top and 20 will be the trailing okay now we also set the font of this and we will save it medium and we will make it 19 okay now we need one more button to change the language ui button and we will place it in the center of the screen and give it a constraints horizontally in container vertically in container and here now we need the iv outlets for this so let's create the iv outlets and actions So here we have first select the header text label and we will create a new referencing outlet and we say lbl header sorry header and connect it and the language say lbl language or we say lbl Current language for the app and uh, text for the button should be changed. So, for this, we need an outlet. We'll say BTN change language and one action is needed too. So, touch up inside and here we say change language so here we have connected all our actions and i it so now let's code and here open view controller dot swift now here you can see our ib outlets and actions so we need one file in order to change the app language specifically so for that we have created one file look like this system and let's drag and drop it to our project and here what it will do it has a method that first it will get a bundle bundle for the app and then what we'll do we will set the language the default language for this app using the language code okay and also we have methods for this that will get the localized strings for from our localizable dot string file so let's start and open view controller dot shift and here what we do first of all we will set the text so we'll say lb header header dot text is equals to localization system dot shared instance dot localized string for key and we need to pass key here and comment will be empty and here we will go to our localizable dot string and here we copy this header text key Open view controller dot shift and here in key paste this key. So our hello world header will get the text from the header text localizable key. And secondly, 
we have L V L current language dot text is equals to localization system dot shared instance dot get language it will return the current language of the app so here just yes the current set it up language and here now we need to our button so for this button change language dot set title so here title we say localization system dot shared instance dot localization string for key comment will be empty or state dot normal okay now go to localizable dot string file and here we will pick the key of our button text change language and here we go so at this moment we set our uh, localizable strings keys to our respective labels and button now let's see if it works correctly or not so let's open up the app in iphone 10 simulator and the xcode is launching the app so here our iphone 10 simulator and here you can see current language is en and we have change language button okay so now let's do the part of the change language so here we get if localization system dot shared instance dot get language is equals to equals to if our language is ar then set localization system dot shared instance dot set language and language part will be the en and else we say localization system dot shared instance dot set language for the AR and here what we do we will say call the view default for the time being and so that we can reflect the changes and let's run the app So build is succeeded. And here you say current language EN. And when I tap on change language, you can see the text is changed. But now the layout doesn't change. So in our next step, what we do, we will change the layout. So in order to change the layout when our app language change, we need to set the Windows root view controller with the new view controller, new initialized view controller. Because the language direction is totally dependent upon the entry point of the app. So let's start and also what we do, we need to flip the view so for in English case we will use UI view dot appearance dot semantic content attributes is equals to dot force for left to right because in English we have left to right content so there are these are semantic content attributes copy for UI view UI navigation UI table view you can set as per your requirement and here for every we have got a right left there it is and now in order to launch the view controller again what we do we end our storyboard and in view controller we will set the storyboard ID to PC and in view controller what we will go we will say let VC is equals to 
self dot storyboard dot initiate new controller with identifier vc and as view controller and here we'll say let delegate we say a dlg is equals to ui application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate and here we say app delegate dot window dot root view controller is equals to vc and now let's see and let's see if our app are successfully and it will change the layout or not So build is succeeded and simulator is also launched and here current language is in let's change and here you can see the layout gets flipped so this is the very basic tutorial to change the localization from inside your app if you have any kind of question then please do comments and i will try to answer them as soon as i can and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and please share this video as much as you can and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are going to bring more tutorial on Swift for every week lastly thanks for your time and patience and thanks for watching this video bye for now